Hey Cancer, ever long mistake here. So we're gonna get a light and a dark cycle message for you. All right, light and dark. We'll see what light cycle you're in and what dark cycle you're in. Now they can overlap, they can be different sizes. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, you can just, if you haven't seen the, the collective video that I made, that explains how I came up with the, you know, the cycles. You can go watch that if you want. All right, so, is that one? All right, light and dark. Oh, very cool. So you have card 48. Get the glare, there we go. It's the intuition card. Nice. So your light cycle right now, Cancer, is intuition. That's pretty cool. So what about your intuition? Are you kind of developing, developing some of your extra sensories? All right, so we have three of swords. That's weird. It's a weird three of swords. It's like they're they're reading a book. And and the the swords are in the book. I mean, it kind of reminds me of um like when you read someone else's journal, like, shame on you. <laughs> but I don't think this is, I don't think that's it. I don't think that's it. This is weird. I need clarification on what, what is this three of swords? Because it's a light cycle, right? It's intuition. It's like, I mean, and all these letters are all scrambled up. It's almost like you're, it's like solving a puzzle. It's like you're using, it's like you're using your intuition to solve a puzzle, to translate. Because I don't know if like the, these, these birds, it looks like the birds are coming out and turning into the letters. It's kind of like you're, yeah, somehow you're using your, yeah, I don't need these. You're using your intuition to, to translate something. And I, you know, it's weird. I don't really feel... I don't feel like it has anything to do with the typical Three of Swords energy. That's so weird. Huh. All right, so you're translating. You're developing a language somehow. It's like you're developing a language with spirit. Sand. Seven of Swords. It's like you're not sure. It's like you're not there yet. Oh, but you will be Six of Swords. Okay, very... Man, Cancer. So your light, um... The, this light cycle that you're in right here, it's interesting because it's all swords. It's all air energy. It's all air. And it's really, <clears throat> and it's focused around your intuition. It's like there's, it's like you're developing a new language within yourself because, I mean, you're cancer, right? So you've obviously mastered a lot of the water, okay? <laughs> Because what was that one reading I did? You're a cups rock star, okay? So it's like you are kicking it up a notch and you are, you're developing new ways to, to kind of receive and, and um, decode messages from, from spirit, you know? It's like you're, you're, you're using your, your intuition in different ways, not just feelings. Because <clears throat> it's probably this is probably where the three of swords ties in because 
I mean, what is the Three of Swords, right? It's like that broken heart, right? And if you're only using your heart and your feelings to translate or to receive messages and that heart is broken, how else can you receive messages or translate or, you know what I mean? So it's, it's like you figured that out and you're developing new ways to kind of be more well-rounded, like a Renaissance man or woman or something like more than one skill, right? And it's, it's like here, this right here, the seven of swords to me just feels like you're not there yet. Like, uh, I'm like, I haven't mastered it yet, but I'm working on it. I'm not there yet. I'm, you know, still kind of in the process. And then here we have the success here with the six of swords. It's like you find, I mean, not only do you figure out how to get these birds to letters, you know what I mean? But like you, you can fly, like you can, you can ride the bird, you know what I mean? Like you can fly, you can go, you can travel, you know, you can... It's like, see, like, and you can travel and get messages or send messages or what have you, even though it's like super stormy, like this is that kind of like, you know, like that broken heart, you know, like, okay, my emotions are a mess, but I can use my other intuitive skills to send an SOS or to receive a message about why this is so stormy or when it's going to end or something like that. Very freaking cool, Cancer. I like ye. I like ye. Alright. Dark. Oh, when Cancer goes dark, they go dark. Okay. They can give Scorpio a run for their money, that's for sure. Okay, we have... No way. Okay, so you have the winged horse. Number 31. The winged horse. Weird. I wonder if this is like a mirror. If your dark cycle is mirroring your light cycle, because I mean, look at the end of the light cycle. You're, I mean, you're riding this winged creature, right? And your whole dark cycle is about a winged horse. There's something, you know, maybe not. This, there's something a little bit eerie about this horse. It's almost like a ghost of a horse. It's a ghost of a horse that's surprised to see us or something. It's, it looks like it's startled somehow. All right, so what is this dark cycle for cancer? All right, so we have the Ace of Decay, a bad seed. This is something that you've let fester, Cancer. A bad seed. All right, so Cancer, there is de there's something inside. It's like something inside of you that you've let fester. I don't know if this winged horse can even, I don't even know if this winged horse can help you. Cause it's weird. It's almost like, it's almost like this winged horse is like your spirit self or something. And it's like your spirit self is like standing up, looking at you, almost pleading for something. Like it's very... I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it's pleading or surprise. I don't know. But there's something festering here. I just need to pull more cards. All right. Okay, so we have the Five of Torment here, and that is uh, Quicksand. I mean, you're not doing yourself any favors here, definitely. You've got something festering. 
You're not doing yourself any favors. And meanwhile, this horse that's giving me mixed messages is just like looking down at this situation here, Cancer, and going like, what the fuck? I don't even know yet what's really going on. It's like there's something, it's like something troubling within you. And you know what? Maybe this is why this light cycle here is about developing your intuition aside from your normal way of doing it, right? Using air energy instead of water. Because you're, you're kind of drowning in quicksand over here. And you're letting something really fester. And you do, I mean, that could very well be a Three of Swords situation. But it's like you can't, I don't know. It's like you can't unstick yourself. You can't fly away and free yourself from, from this, the, uh, like the old way. Or, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know what I mean. Okay. So anything else for Cancer? Ooh. Okay, well, this one's rough. Okay, so this is rough. It is the Six of Decay, and it's the... It's the Taken for Granted card. Alright, so, okay. So, Cancer, this dark cycle here, it's like there is... There's a way to finish this up, okay? And this one seems like a very dense, um, a very dense cycle, okay? Like compact and dense. It's super heavy, but it's not like all encompassing. Like it doesn't have to encompass years of your life. You know what I mean? It's, it really depends on how, how you, that, that's how these are connected. It's like, it depends on how well you, respond to this light cycle here because the if you if you can do what you need to do with this light cycle that you're in you can totally free yourself from this quicksand and be be on your way okay be and you can be on your way i think this winged horse is kind of freaking out a little bit because it's it's just watching your torment i mean you, it's like it's watching you drown in quicksand it's watching you get, it's watching you decay, you know, because you have the ace of decay, bad seed right here, and you have, and it's not, I'm not saying you're a bad seed, I mean, there's, there's something that didn't, there's something that didn't turn out right, you know what I mean? There's something that didn't turn out right, and, and on top of that, it's like being taken for granted, not being appreciated, it just, like, I mean, that's, I feel like that was the, that was what sealed it in. That was what, that was like what pushed you into that quicksand. And now it's like, I mean, with quicksand, it's like the more you struggle, the harder it is to get out. And it's like, <clears throat> and it's like your spirit self is freaking out going, okay, hey, uh, cancer over here. Like you can help yourself. Like this can, this can be resolved. You know what I mean? But I will say that this dark cycle here is very compact, very dense. Cause you, and you'll, you'll know what it is because it'll, it, it kind of packs a punch. All right, Cancer, you got this. Thank you so much for embracing your inner mystic and I will see you later. Bye Cancer.